This is problem 3.5 of chapter 3. We are working with equilibrium of particles. And here we want to find the constant of the spring. So they want us to find the constant of the spring to hold the system in equilibrium. And the system is one joint that holds a weight that has a mass of 40 kilograms. Remember that when we have a mass, we have to multiply by the gravity to get the weight. And then we have a core that is uh, between point D and point C. And then we have a spring. The outstretched length of the spring is two meters. In this configuration, the spring is already stretched. As you recall, the first step is always to do the free body diagram. Which point we choose to do the free body diagram? I will choose this joint over here. And as you see, in this joint, we have the weight. The weight is an active force. I'm going to draw it in one color. And the active force is not the mass, but the weight. So the weight will be 40 times the gravity. And the units of that force is newtons. Then we have two reactive forces. Reactive because are done by the support for that joint. So I have a force here that is a tension, which is tension, I will call it DC. And I have the force of the spring, which is uh, DB. And we have the angles, as you see, this is two by two. Therefore, this angle over here is 45 degrees. Of course, this is also 45 degrees, and I can use either, right? 45 degrees. And we are, this angle is given by the dimensions. As you see, this is theta, and this theta is formed by a rectangle by this triangle. This triangle is two meters over here and three meters over here. We can either get the inverse tangent of these two dimensions or we can get this length over here. This length using Pythagoras because this is a right, right triangle that will be three square which is nine plus two square which is four that will be the square root of 13. So I can just say that the cosine of this angle will be equals to the adjacent over square root of 13 and the sine of the angle will be the opposite divided by the square root of 13. So as I said, you can either find the angle and then find the cosine of sine or use trigonometric uh, geometry to find the dimensions and then find the cosine of the sine by the definition. Once we have totally defined our free body diagram, we will define our coordinate system, which is x and y, and we will do the equations of equilibrium. We add forces in x, and that's equals to zero because we are in equilibrium, and that means that which forces are in x? We have the component of this force, which will be the force of the spring, the b, d b cosine of that angle minus the tension of the core cosine of 45. That's equals to zero. So if I uh, substitute here the values, this is cosine of this angle. I already said that is 3 over 13 minus tension and the angle, the cosine of 45, you know that is square root of 2 over 2. So this is my first equation. And the second equation is equals to these two forces contribute, right, in the y direction. So this will be f d b sine of the angle plus d d c sine of 45 minus the weight, and the weight is 40 times 9.81, and that's equals to zero. 
and then this is F dB. Sine of the angle, I already said that is 2 over 13, minus T dC, square root of 2 over 2, minus, and that is equals to 392.4 equals to 0. So I have two equations, if I name this one and this name two. Solve, solving the system of equations, right? I get the two values, right? Let me do it over here. Solving system of equations, I get that the force of the spring is equals to 282.96 and the force, the tension on the cord is equals to 332.96 newtons. Okay, so that was the first part of the problem. I will solve here the second part of the problem. So this is the first step. One step. Two, and this is the step three. So once we have the force of the spring, we are able to find K by the definition, right? So we know that the force of a spring, which I call it D, B is the constant of the spring times the deformation of the spring, which is, in this case, D. The deformation of the spring is always the final length minus the initial length, the unstretched length. The final length, I already know that this is square root of 13. So I know that the force of the spring, which I already found it, which is 282.96, 96 will be equals to k. The final length is 13, and the initial length is given, which is the unstretched length of the spring. So the only unknown is k. So I solve for k will be 282.96 divided by square root of 13 minus 2. And k is equals to 176.2 newtons over meters. And this is the solution of the problem that they ask us to find the constant of the spring to hold this system in equilibrium.